welcome in to another Steve Henry show, a new Steve Henry show. Yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet uh, afternoon, I gotta admit. Um, first, uh, first note to take note of, uh, please uh, stick around uh, for the very, 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 very end of the show. You're not gonna wanna miss the last minute of this show today. So for those of you that perhaps uh, take a little break and say, well, I didn't win or I didn't spin or whatever. Stick around because it's going to be worth it. It is going to be worth it. You want to stick around until the very last minute. That is the word of advice today from me, and that's about all I have. All right, this is a cooking show, entertainment show, a show of all kinds of show. Uh, today, we are in the last part series, a three-part series of Pumpkins Are Us. We did the uh, pumpkin uh, vine, if you will. You remember that? That was the fettuccine blackened chicken fettuccine Alfredo. We did last week, we did that pumpkin meat. We actually took the meat of the pumpkin and made crepes. Did you see that, how many views that video got? Over 30,000 views or 25,000 views. That is because, why is that? There's Moses. Moses is going down the hallway there. We got Mo here today. Hello, Momo. What are you doing? Yeah, you, you, you've been sleeping all day and you decided to wake up for the show? That's my boy, Mo. Look at him. He's still yawning. Hello, baby boy. You're such a good boy. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. That might go. Okay, there's the camera. You, yeah, see that? That was close. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to be doing part three. Uh, today, we are carving the pumpkin out and actually extracting what's inside the pumpkin, which is the seeds. Now, what do you do with pumpkin seeds? Well, besides eat them with a cold beer or, or cold root beer or whatever, you can do a lot, but we are going to, we tried, we figured out what, what are we going to do. We're going to make a pizza, a pizza crust. So a, a, uh, a beautiful pumpkin seed pizza crust pesto uh, pizza. What? Yeah, say that again. Wait till you see it though. And, and we're going to actually walk you through the entire step process. The shorts that we started now, there are people that uh, sit on the cutting edge of things. And then there are people that actually cut the trail and make a path for others to follow. That's who I would like us to be, not the cutting edge people. Those are good people, make no mistake, but the people that actually cut the trail and leave a path for others to follow, that's where I want us to be. And now the shorts, yeah, they've been out for quite a while and I've watched several of them. If you're a TikToker or talk ticker or whatever that is, uh, the younger kids, my kids are all into that uh, Instagram and all that stuff. Uh, if you're one of those younger uh, sorts and you're a TikToker, that's how this whole thing started. Well, uh, did somebody steal it from somebody? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The bottom line is the hot thing right now is this one minute video. So we are probably going to be eliminating our midweek video and just staying with a short. Why? Well, our short has already gotten almost 4,000 views or well over 3,000 views in less than a day and a half. And that is reaching everybody or most everybody. But make no mistake, it is still our community. You are our community. As I'm looking on the board here, you are our community. Michelle in Canada, Elizabeth Gerardo, Super Dud, Donna. Teeter, Desiree Woodward, I mean, all you lovely people, Mary Carey, uh, as we spin forward, go baby, go. I, I, I can talk as fast as you guys can spin. That's that's pretty much uh, for sure. Justine Sanchez is here today, that's very cool. They just bought a nice, uh, nice new uh, third row vehicle from uh, Exodus Auto Sales. Congratulations to the both of you. Anyways, uh, so these, these things called a short. So you'll be seeing a short or a, uh, uh, a reel, if you will, uh, on Wednesdays from now on. And so when you see that, it's just going to give you the same thing, a compilation uh, or a history, and then a little uh, preview of what's coming on Saturday. Nothing really is going to change in your world. It's just going to be a shorter video, but uh, it's into a different category, a marketing category, that hopefully will expand the uh, the show itself and the channel itself that's the whole idea uh and again it's not new we're not really uh, on the cutting edge or cutting a path but 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 how we do it how we prepare it now can you imagine trying to compress what we do in 30 minutes in in, in a uh, one minute video it's pretty tough if you saw the first one uh you know what i'm talking about i want you if you can go back and watch that watch them all watch them as many times as you can with those commercials spin that thing around because uh, i mean that thing is where it's at right now uh, youtube is actually approaching us along with probably millions of other creators to say hey would you make a, a, a shorty for us um, it might be worth your while oh wow really okay um, I am sure they approached everybody with that concept but bottom line is uh, we uh, have been approached by them to do this and so we're gonna do it but we're gonna do it a different way than most I've watched a lot of these uh, short-term videos and uh, there's nothing like the uh, effects my executive producer George Serrano is extremely good with that camera he can literally zoom in and get that steam did you see the cheese just string off that cheese pizza uh, on from that last one that's what I'm talking about that type of presentation you have to lure them in and and the, the uh, the uh, minds of most of these people on these shorts are about five seconds. So it's like, what is he for? And it's over. 
So you've got to be, wow, that looks good. I think I'll stick around at least for another 10 seconds. You have to be that good. So it really brings and sharpens our pencil. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to produce a shorty or a reel or a short or however you want to call it on Wednesday. Same time. Uh, we want you to comment just like you normally would. Uh, and we will, uh, you know, oh boy, there goes the dogs. Can we uh, control the dog traffic? That usually means somebody is walking by or walking in. Uh, we are a car dealership too, that's a long story. All right, so cooking today. Oh my God, and the phones are ringing. You know, what else? This is a live show. You really can't get around that. This is really, really a live show. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, making a pizza and we're gonna do this without any electricity or we're gonna do it without any oven. Now, how do you possibly make a pizza without an oven or any electricity? Well, it's pretty simple. You start off with something like this. It is a flat iron, cast iron skillet, flat as you can be with your burner. This is your propane burner, something we've used since day one on the show. You can literally make this in 10 minutes or less. Uh, the premise of the Wednesday video was, and this is kind of cool. Did you happen to know that Halloween night is the number one pizza delivery time in all of pizza delivery. It has surpassed the Super Bowl as far as volume and amount of pizzas that have uh, delivered into the home. So we've decided to take advantage of that and do the pumpkin and all that. So yada, yada, yada. We're going to make a pizza, but we're going to do it from scratch. I'm going to show you exactly how to make the best pizza you ever had in your life without any oven and without any electricity. We're gonna start with a sauce. Now the sauce is a tomato sauce. We have a tomato vine here. You would literally go to your uh, tomato plant if you had one outside in your backyard and you'd pluck one of those off your vine. Take the little green caterpillar. Oh, those used to gross me out. That's why I don't eat red tomatoes like this. I can eat salsa and I can eat pasta sauce, but I cannot eat one of these raw tomatoes because back in the day, uh, I used to see those little green things crawling around those things and you pull them off and oh, they were just absolutely hideous. Well, anyways. I, I love the uh, tomato uh, sauce itself. So you take the tomato and you would literally take the tomato and cut it up and freshly put that into a little Cuisinart. Now this camera might be a little difficult to see, but I am gonna show you uh, the whole process. It's gonna go uh, about three tomatoes into a Cuisinart or a little uh, chopper, if you will. And that is where we start. We salt that a little bit. And now the secret to a pizza is the sauce. That's uh, one of the best parts, right? Now. You do not, repeat, do not heat or cook your sauce. Say what? Yeah, that's right, you do not. The pizza sauce, you ask any pizza pie maker, the pizza pie maker will tell you that sauce is cold. It is unprepared, it is uncooked. The reason for that is when it does attract heat and, and take on some heat, it releases all of its flavor. So if you can imagine this, a pasta sauce is already, the tomato has released itself when it's uh, been heated and, and homogenized, if you will, or, or, or temperaturized. Is that a word? That's a word! Temperaturized. See if that's a word. Anyways, that's how that works. So we are going to take the raw tomato and we're going to, from there, add and make our own pizza sauce, okay? Even though this is pesto, and we're going to lay the pesto down first on that beautiful, look at that beautiful, this is that pumpkin seed crust. People were asking, how do you, what? Okay, yeah, pumpkin seed crust. We take the seed of the pumpkin and we just layer that into the pizza dough. Now, the pizza dough is pretty simple. Uh, all that is, and the secret to that is honey water. You activate your yeast with honey water. Uh, it says activate yeast with some warm water and mix it in with your flour dough and there you have it. And then the secret is kneading it for 10 minutes. You actually want to put some honey water. And where do you get your honey? Well, there's only one place in this world to get honey and that is, yes, the Maverick Honey Bee Farm here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you aren't uh, privy to that farm, well, then you're on your own. But basically that's where our came from and so we delivered a beautiful honey water into that yeast which activated the dough which there sits on the platform okay so we have the tomato that's the fresh tomato from there we have the organic herbs now these herbs are nothing more than thyme oregano and basil thyme oregano and basil okay you want to put those in there Ooh, that looks good they're turning a little brown yes um, they're like uh, a banana if you cut them they oxidize rather quickly uh, a little tomato paste this tomato paste you can find in a tube this will actually tighten things up a little bit for you because it is a it is a runny mess you, you do have a runny mess when you have fresh uh, tomato from the vine and you can see we literally grew those ourselves uh, with the help of, it looks like Jason. Oh, there's JD again. Ah. Anyways, uh, so we have the, the tomatoes, we have the salt, we have the fresh herb, we have a little olive oil. Okay, we're gonna put a little olive oil in there. And typically we would put some pesto in there as well if we were not gonna make a pesto pizza, but we're making a pesto pizza, so we're going to omit the, uh, the pesto. Now, uh, the other ingredient would be some pumpkin seeds. We're gonna, again, everything we do about this pizza today is incorporated using the pumpkin seed for the flavor. And that is it, that is it. So let's recap, cut the tomato, salt the tomato, put a little tomato paste on there, put some fresh herbs in there, Forget the cheese, I don't want to put any cheese in there yet. Uh, you can put some pine nuts in there, you can put some pesto in there. 
But basically, that's all you have for a fresh pizza sauce. Now, again, that's a pizza sauce. And all we're gonna do is we're just going to incorporate all of this together. It's pretty hard with gloves that are very sticky, but we're gonna incorporate all of this together. And it should sit maybe for a couple hours. Time constraints don't allow that here at the show. But nonetheless, we're gonna make a nice pizza sauce. And again, the secret to the pizza sauce is not to cook it. You don't want to put any heat whatsoever to this pizza sauce. And that is just going to pulsify for a moment. Pulsify? Pulsify is a word. All right, here we go. So we have a little challenge from time to time with our um, pizza guy there. All right, so uh, that, loved ones, is a beautiful sauce. I'll just let that, uh, oh, and if you could see that, that is incredible. That is just a beautiful sauce, uh, nothing more than the tomato puree. But first of all, because we promised you a pesto pumpkin seed pizza, we are going to pesto that sauce uh, pizza dough first. Now that is basically just taking our, our pesto here and smoothing that out. Uh, this is a store-bought pesto. Yeah, making pesto uh, these days is difficult um, because ring. Yeah, geez, it's been a long day. We've shot a shorty, too. By the way, we have another short coming out Wednesday. We have another one coming out tomorrow, by the way. Tomorrow is, uh, did you know, I bet you didn't know this. This is October, right? This is the only month in which, in which the four major sports teams play ball. That's right. The MLB, that's the Major League Baseball. They're in the playoffs right now. If you're a Dodger fan, you're not real happy. Uh, but the Major League Baseball guys are going at it. Uh, the NBA has started, and the uh, National Hockey League has started, and of course, the uh, NFL is underway as well. So all four major sporting teams are playing, and they only play one time in, uh, in the month of October all together. There's no other time that you will find all four teams playing in one uh, uh, month. So October is the month of sports. Now, so we decided, what, do you, what are we going to do? That's, that's too much sports on a Sunday. Well, what's the best sport food there is? Well, there's a lot of them. Pizza being one, we did that one. How about, yeah, we did this once before a long time ago, but the Frito Pie loved ones, oh my God, we made a Frito Pie uh, shorty, and that's coming out. I want you to watch for it. It's going to come out tomorrow, probably early in the morning, and I want you to watch it. I want you to comment on it, because when you comment on it, you know what that means? That means your name goes into a spin, and when I come over here, and I spin this bad boy, and you were going to have either lunch with Steve, a chance to win a car, or win lots of money. On the spin board today, you do happen to see right there, that is me, by the way. I am dressed up as Pizza Delivery Boy. That's my costume for Halloween, and that will all come together before the end of the show. But uh, if you should happen to get your name spun, spun is a word, and uh, you land on the pizza delivery guy, you will win yourself $200. We gave away, I think, two of those last week uh, for our uh, spin as well. So, uh, and by the way, how do you get your name on the spin? How do you get in all this fun? Well, you go to, if you're new to the show, thenewstevehenryshow.com. That's thenewstevehenryshow.com. And you put in your name, address, and so on, and uh, some information. That way, we can be able to mail you out a check when we pull your name and spin. And, and spin to win uh, is the name of the game. Spin to win, and we'll get to that. So anyways, we have our red sauce. We have our pasta. It is time to fire up. Now, this is not to be done at uh, home with long eyebrows, I understand. My uh, daughter has these long eyebrows. They're about 20, 20 feet wide, um, and I see a lot of you have that as well. Uh, those are incredible. Now, this is nothing more than, um, you need to probably bring this up to temperature, and by doing that, it needs a little oxygen. Okay, there we go. Now, we uh, are going to literally, as I promised, make a pizza without electricity, without an oven, right here on a skillet, a cast iron skillet. And I promise you, it will be literally the absolute best pizza you ever put to your lips. Now, do you go buy all this stuff? Well, once you do it, you can make pizza at home. Uh, but again, uh, there's a company, gosh darn, uh, uh, they're a franchise, Take and Bake or Bake and Shake or Shake and Bake or whatever it is, they're, they're, where you take that pizza and you bring it home and you put it in your rack oven. I, I can't believe they got away with that for so long. Now they're, they're, they're hurting. They're going out of business left and right. You see them closing down. But you'd go in there and you, know, you think you're really a really Billy Badass because you'd be able to make your own pizza and you know, walk out of there and, who I'm having pizza tonight. Wow, check it out and you put it on a rack oven, it's, it's not how you make pizza. Pizza has to be cooked on a flat, hot surface. That's the only way the crust and the yeast and everything just comes together in a, in a way that it should. So we are literally cooking the pizza. Now, the, the, the secret to this is you do not want to burn the pizza. Obviously, that would be a problem. Uh, but uh, that will not burn. I, I promise you that. We'll keep an evil, close eye on that. But as that starts to brown a little bit, we put a little olive oil down, just a little olive oil, and we put our beautiful crust on there that's got our beautiful pie. Uh, pumpkin seeds uh, permeating throughout. 
This is kind of cool too. You see, it's just uh, two little pumpkins sitting on a hill. One's named Jack, one's named Jill. Uh, no, I won't get into that. There's a fairy tale there. But that houses our ranch dressing. Can that be, not be cool? When we get all done with this, we will literally, uh, on a bed of pumpkin seeds, put our ranch dressing in our two little pumpkins. Jack and Jill went up the hill riding on an elephant. No, 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 no that's a long time ago. That, was, uh, that didn't work out too well. But anyways, those two are together and they house the ranch dressing. Now, that will be uh, where we'll slice our pizza and present our pizza for our guests. That's right. This is all about having six, 10, 20, 30 people over for pizza on Halloween night, perhaps. You're, you're busy, and again, it is, it is the number one night for uh, pizza uh, delivery, which is incredible. Okay, so this has been cooking for a little while, I must confess, I did start a little early. So, without further ado, watch closely. Boom, oh man, what did he just do? Yeah, he just flipped it over. But the pesto, the pesto, what am I? Yeah, just bear with me, bear with me. We are literally putting that pesto into the dough, okay? Now we're gonna do that with a red sauce too. And man, like I said, this is gonna be a pizza like you've never had before. Um, and this is gonna be more, um, our shows are gonna be more tutorialized, a little more tutorial uh, cooking and a little less fluff. We used to bring in a lot of fluff. There's still be a little fluff, uh, but I want to be able to show you uh, the best, the very, very best loved ones uh, that you can actually have, and it's incredible. All right, so this is cooking nicely. Now again, what's happening is that pesto is just embedding itself into the crust of the pizza with the, uh, the pumpkin seeds. And you can see, oh, Lord have mercy, that is just amazing. We're gonna come back over here and we're gonna flip it back. All right, now we are underway. We're gonna start now with our red sauce. Now remember, we made our red sauce, the tomato sauce, that was so nicely. And I keep putting the lid on and off because again, I don't know what, what I'm doing here, but basically that's gonna, Put that there. This is our red sauce, and again, um, this is just our pizza sauce that we made. Um, kind of hard to, I should have probably put that into something else, but that's okay. You get, you get the gist, you get the gist. Okay, we're spreading that around. You get a good shot of that. George, uh, my um, producer there, has got a camera that just sits right over that. Okay, so here we are literally putting that last little bit of sauce. You don't wanna put too much on there. That's, it's pungent, the sauce is actually very pungent. All right, so there, now you have loved ones, a wonderful uh, crust forming, okay, crust forming, pumpkin seed crust with a pesto embedded in it, with a red sauce starting to just ma make itself known to the pizza. From this point on, we are going to put a little layer of chess. Now, what kind of chess, Steve? Well, there's only one kind of chess, cheese that is, for those of you that are following. Taking notes, I hope. Uh, for those of you that are following, um, uh, the um, process in which, yeah, turn that way down, the process in which the uh, cheese is uh, needed is a mozzarella, but not just any mozzarella, loved ones. You wanna use only a very low moisture mozzarella. And the lower, the better. And the reason for that is it will melt like butter, literally like butter. A little sharp cheddar, if you like cheddar. Uh, sometimes a little color is, is good, that's, uh, that's always good. And again, um, we called this the, uh, the wild mushrooms. So we're gonna put a little few wild mushrooms on there, uh, button mushrooms, if you will, and to go with that pesto. And oh yes, we gotta put just a couple pumpkin seeds. I'm just gonna put a few seeds around there like so. All right, now we're gonna cover that up and we're gonna turn it up. Now, the secret coming up now is we have a water rendition you wanna steam this a little bit as well. So you get the cast iron pretty hot at this point, okay? And we are going to literally finish this off by steaming it, and yes, Steve Henry's famous torch. Torch is the fun part. All right, so we are literally going to put a little steam on there. What does that do? Well, that basically just uh, helps the cheese melt, brings everything together. We're gonna to do that a couple times over the next oh, five minutes or so. And if anybody's clocking me, it's gonna be about 10 minutes. I'm slowing this down a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, look at this, this is just beautiful. We're gonna to continue to, oh my God, you, you have no idea how this is gonna taste. And when I get it finished and cut it, oh my God, it's just gonna be beautiful. We're gonna finish it off here in just a moment. Uh, you've got about uh, one minute, loved ones, to get your name into the spin today. That spin will go, and I'm gonna spin, baby. I'm gonna spin to win today. Uh, we've got $200 at stake with the pizza delivery guy. That's me on the cord here. We also have some money to give away, and uh, Wednesday we announce we'll continue to do so, or we may switch that over to Saturday now because of the uh, short uh, time of the video but we will be uh, announcing the winners on a weekly basis. There are about still 14 people sitting in the pile to um, have lunch with Steve. 
and about nine people in the car spin. I want to increase that more because uh, we're only going to do the car spin once. I'm, I'm going to give away a car. Here comes Shanna, Shanna Bodana. She was putting down the, uh, and I have no idea where I'm going to put that, the uh, spin board. And that spin board uh, will house your name, I hope. Yes, it is going to house your name. You're going to win some money today and also a chance to have lunch with me. Uh, Christian, as you all know, uh, Word Builder won last week. Um, Christian and I have decided uh, the best thing to do there is to probably postpone that due to time constraints and schedule restraints. But um, he was the first recipient of winning last uh, Saturday. We'll do another spin for Lunch with Steve next Saturday. Uh, but again, I'm going to be looking through the comments section. I'm, if I have any pull, which I don't, but if I did, I would make sure that a participant, a good participant of the show, makes it into the spin. Ink, ink, ink. Okay, so the last part of our pizza is going to be the torque hot oh, that, That's the torch. We are literally going to melt, and when this heats, this type of cheese, it literally will melt flawlessly like butter into the cheese, into the pasta, into the sauce. Okay, it's been a long day. Into the sauce. So the secret is not to burn it. You want to hold it just high enough. I would uh, probably suggest that everybody get one of these devices. As you know, I've been using this almost every week on the show uh, for the type of effect. There is no other better effect than this torch for nachos, for Frito pie, for pizza, uh, you name it. How about chasing your wife around like, get me here, baby, <laughs> or your dog. Uh, it, it can be a multi-purpose device, to say the least. Okay, and if you want to brown the crust a little bit, Oh, yeah, I love a little brown crust. Yo, know, not black, Steve. Brown, I said. Now, come on. You know the difference. You know the difference. All right, so now this is going to get steamed one more time. Oh, my gosh. If this isn't a pizza, I don't know what is. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord. Now, remember... All right, now remember, underneath all this is, remember, we, we started with, a, this has been so long ago, it seemed like, we started with a pesto. Gosh, there's no room here. We started with the pesto and then the red sauce and everything. So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to turn this up and we'll steam it one more time. Let it sit for about two minutes and we'll slice it. We'll all have a piece of this pizza pie. And let me tell you, loved ones, I, I can't reiterate enough. And why don't, oh, someone's, oh my God, we got somebody. Okay, the reason why I don't have my vest no, it's not because I'm getting fatter. It's because I am pizza guy or pizza delivery guy. That is my costume for my Halloween. And I put the Jason cap on. You're going to see that in a little bit here. All right, last call for steam water here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. All right, now let's just turn that off. And that's going to rest for about two minutes. We're going to do a spin here. And as we spin, that will rest. And then we'll cut it. And I will show you the best pizza that we ever made. All right, so everybody that participated today is in this spinner. I am literally just spinning names around. That thing is going around. There it goes. Okay, so everybody has a, you, would you agree everybody has a fair shot? Everyone has a fair shot. Okay, so what is at stake today? Well, we have lunch with Steve, we have that car, and we have, we have a heck of a mess here, but that's okay. That's what I do. I'm a messy boy. All right, let's reach in here. As we reach in here, we're just gonna grab a bunch of names. Hey, just a bunch of names, a bunch of names, handful of names. Okay, got a handful. Uh, now, is your name in here? Is your name in my hand right now? I don't know. How many people do we have? 93 going towards 100. That's pretty good. Um, I'm very comfortable, by the way, with 100 people watching this live show because this show will actually end up with about, probably right now we're, we're co coming a little bit south of six or 7,000 views by the time the next video comes out. Uh, when we get to, just so you know, for numbers, see, when we get to about 25,000 30,000, 40,000, then we start making some pretty good money. And you know what that means? That means it's yours. Everything that we make after bills are paid go back to you. Now, we haven't done that yet. As I keep saying, uh, we are still in the red, as we say. But can you imagine when Steve Henry pays all the bills from YouTube and there's money left over, what we're going to do with that uh, and in addition to? Yeah, everything's going back to you. Why? Because it's your show. That's why. First up for grabs today, Danny Kubica from that lovely state of Washington. You are the first person that's going to get the spin uh, advantage today. And let's go around for Danny. Danny Kubica. What do you say, Danny? I'm glad you're here today. Always a pleasure to see you. You are in the... God, I hate that thing. This thing sits in the middle more. You know what? This is the last time I'm going to deal with this because this really irritates me. It sits in the middle and it, it, it's just... I don't know why. Why is that? It should stop right where... Oh, 
Oh, that's actually bankruptcy. Uh oh, that's it. Danny, um, I will share that bankruptcy with you. That is a special gift. I didn't cover that up from the last time, or actually two times ago. Is that a word two times ago? I don't know. But you did win something very special. I will get with you in an email format, private email format, and tell you what you won. But I will be um, uh, just a little hinting. You are very happy. I will be very happy with what you got. Anybody else gets a bankruptcy uh, will be very happy with what they received today going out in the mail on Monday. Next up, Desiree Woodward. Give it up for Desiree Woodward. Let's go round and round she goes. Here she stops where nobody knows. All right, Desiree, you are going to win. A banana. Now that too is a very special gift. If you recall, three shows ago, my good friend and brother-in-law from Reno, Nevada, Shano, we call him our Shano. Shano, Shano. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're having a cold one up there for me, my big brother. Uh, you won uh, a banana, but you're in, you, in your banana as I was unpeeling that. And by the way, go back and watch that video. It was the beginning of a video about three videos ago. I unveiled a $100 bill. I don't know what's going to be in this one. But there will be something in there for you, Desiree, that will be worthwhile, uh, the banana. Next one, Nikki. And you know what? We're getting all these women again. Guys, what is up? Nikki Acosta. Oh my God, look at, oh Lordy B, look at that pizza. We're gonna carve into that. Let's pull that lid off that bad boy. All right, Nikki, what do you got, Wiki? Nikki, Nikki, Wiki, Nikki. I bet they, oh no, see, easy. Nikki, Nikki, what do you got? What do you got for Nikki? Come on, stop. Nikki is in a car. Congratulations. That's actually very cool. You are in the spin for a car, Nikki. And that car, believe it or not, it's, it's gonna be a nice car. Yanny, it's not gonna be a, come on, Yanny. That's a joke between you and me. It's not gonna be a Pinto, okay? Carrie, it's good to see you here. Mariah Gonzalez, Michelle H. Boy, you're, Michelle H, boy, you're all over the place. There's Danny. You're welcome. Can't wait to hear from you. Yeah, you, you better, you're gonna, you're gonna love to hear from me on Monday, girlfriend. Elizabeth Gerardo, sit tight, you're next. I'm gonna pull your name, Nikki. There you are. Okay, Nikki, I see you right there, Nikki. Nikki, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Actually, you got a car. Uh, okay, how about the next person? TJ Henderson, hey, there you go. This lady is an amazing woman. She is taking care, as a lot of us have done, of our grandkids and working so hard. Uh, this woman is an amazing woman. Um, I love her to death. She is, uh, God is looking down upon you, honey. And I'll tell you what, he is very pleased with what he sees, how you're taking care of your family and setting an example for the youngsters. You have one two-day lunch with Steve Spin. That's very cool. I would love to have lunch with you. And if you haven't caught up or no one knows what lunch with Steve is, uh, lunch with Steve is a, an amazing experience. Uh, uh, to one extreme, which was uh, two years ago, I had to deliver a car into the state of Washington, uh, and Lunch with Steve was a contest at that time. I actually ended up staying for dinner, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, we had four people for lunch and about 15 people for dinner, and it turned into quite a party. So Lunch with Steve is an amazing thing. We block out about three hours of your time if you're a working person, uh, so it's kind of interesting. All right, next up, Heather Potter. Heather Potter, did you win last week, Heather Potter? My God, Heather Potter. I thought I said it said Harry Potter, but Heather Potter. Heather, what have you won on the spin board? I'm not kidding. Oh, 200 stop. Oh, lunch with Steve. Lunch with Steve. All right. I'm going to, I need to give away some money. So the next, the next ones are basically just going to be $50 bills. I'm going to give those Josh Daniel $50. Yay, Josh. $50. Another $50 bill coming out right here. Matt Clary, you got yourself $50. Good old Matt. Thank you, Matt. You're a good guy, too. Mississippi, uh, you brought your family in here, Minnie and uh, your sister, Donna. Uh, I'm just so grateful for, I believe that's right. You know me your name, so I'm pretty close. I think I'm right. Uh, that's a $50 bill. Joe Cora, that's a $50 bill. And one last $50 bill. Emilio Garbay up there in Moses Lake, Washington. Congratulations, everybody. You have uh, been to the show. But wait, don't leave. Don't go. Because... We got two things left to do. We've got to cut a pizza, and I know I'm way over time. I'm always over time. I'm always over time. Ouch, this is hot, Steve. It's hot, Steve. All right, I'm just going to get this pizza right here. Ooh, man! Did I say hot? Yeah, I did. Let's put that here. It's like cutting the uh, the cake. I'm just going to put it. I just want to put a piece of this amazing pizza down on the board for you to see uh, what you are. Gosh, Steve, look at all this mess. Yeah, we could put some Parmesan on there. I like Parmesan. My wife hates Parmesan. Hey, hey, don't put the Parmesan on the You're going to ruin the pizza. Oh, okay, whatever. Come on. All right, so here we go. We have uh, this. Look at that. Oh, my God. I can take that real slow. Steve, take it slow. Watch that camera come and just get that cheese. Uh, just like it did on that Wednesday video. Watch it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Just hanging off there like so. Oh, my God. And I'm just going to put it right here just for viewer's sake. I'll leave it right on the spatula. Yeah. That is uh, an amazing piece of pizza, guys. It does maybe not look so pretty because it doesn't have a lot of red or green, but let me tell you something. You bite into that. You got the pumpkin seed. You got the pesto. You got that homemade red sauce. You got the cheese. You got the mushroom. 
and this thing just is amazing. Um, I will spin this off. Now, don't go away, please, everyone, stick around. Uh, we have, I'm gonna burn about another minute or two, but I promise you, I promise you, look at that, just an amazing piece of pizza. I'm not gonna play around with it anymore. Um, I have, uh, what's that? Is, that, is that the phone ringing? Where's my phone? I thought I brought my phone in here. Um, the phone is ringing. I don't know why that phone would be ringing, but uh, anyways, I'm going to basically answer the phone. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer the phone. There's a very important phone call coming into the studio right now. Okay, so let me, uh, oh my God. They want me to what? They want me to deliver a pizza? I'm not a, well, I guess that's what I dressed up to be. That's what I guess I'll do. I will be the pizza delivery guy. That's, that's who I am. I will deliver the pizza. Where to? I don't know. But they say, you better come right now and deliver a pizza because it's worth everything of your life. Oh, my God. Look who's here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to go deliver a pizza. I'll be back. You guys, I love you. I'll see you next week on the... Yeah, they ordered the right pizza, though. That's for sure.